Hey, to the back again with yet another. Oh, let me take a swim for a sec. Woo! Well, it's fine. Another video, and today we got top 10, or, well, top 5 sneaker pickups for, not pickups either, oh my. I'm losing it, guys. Top 5 sneakers for spring and summer. So, again, this is all my opinion, not yours. I know some of you guys, I know one particular shoe you guys are going to be hating on. <laughs> um, a lot of these shoes are just my opinion, and you guys probably won't have the same opinion as me. So, get off with a complete staple. This is no heat by any means whatsoever, but every guy has to have this. A Sperry Top Sider Boat Shoe. This thing is probably the most necessary shoe out of all the shoes that I have for summer. You gotta have one of these in case you're, you know, dressing up fancy for your girl. You know, oh, by the way, pause. Forgive me for my sweats, sweatshirt and hair. It's Sunday. I'm chilling. About to go to homework. Just finessing in the streets. But anyways, back to the shoes. These things are completely necessary. Only like $70, so a really good option. You can wear them with honestly anything. You can wear them with plain shirt, collared shirt, sweater. I still have no seasons in the summer. Please don't wear these with socks. I know it's I know it's bad and it's uncomfortable, but these look so much better if you don't wear socks. Or if you do wear socks, wear the little no-show ones, you know, like the ones that only go down, like go around your foot and then go around so you can't see them. Very necessary. Moving on to the next shoe. Um, this is probably second most necessary shoe, I would say. Because this acts like a sandal for me. These are lightweight beaters, but you got the... Nike Roshi run. These things are, I just got these in a cool blue colorway. These things are kind of my beaters, but these things are so relaxing. You I just wear them loosely. It's like this kind of, my, my boy Johnny hooked it up, shot in Germany. Um, Solar Soft Insole, super comfy. Um, oh, not comfy, not as comfy as one of the other shoes, which I'm gonna be showing you guys, but these things are honestly just my slip on sandals going to the beach. I wear these, going hiking, wear these. These things, if you guys didn't know, these things float in water, so. It's pretty cool. But anyway, that's about all you can say with these. If you guys didn't know the history in these, it's inspired by Zen. So these are supposed to be like um, pebbles for um, pebbles like for a stepping stone. That's what the bottom is. And the insole, all these different ribs are supposed to be like for a perfectly manicured garden. So it's inspired by Zen, which is, again, goes towards the whole relaxing theme of these shoes. Next shoe. I know I'm going to be getting tons of hate for this or probably won't in the comment section. But anyways. This is a shoe I picked up when I was in Italy last summer. Um, it I don't know how much it cost me, but you got right here. Dr driving slippers or loafers. These things are fire. I, my girlfriend hates these. And they get kind of dirty, as you can see right there on the toes, kind of discolored. But these things are dope. Nice quality. If you guys want to know what brand it is, here. I'll give you guys a shot of insoles so you can take a picture of that if you want. Fusharo, that's what the brand these are. Um, I think these cost like 50 euros or something, which was about like $60. Uh, very nice suede, the least comfortable shoe I have by far, because the insole is literally just this. You see that black thing? That is hard rubber, I cannot squeeze that. But um, I got these, I'm a 10 and a half. I got these in a 43 which equates to about a size 10. So I kind of went about a um, half size down for these because if, if you don't wear them with socks, which you better not, um, these things are, fit for, oh my, these things fit better because you know, socks like get a little bit of extra space. Laces, all suede, all suede upper, very summery. And plus these, this color summery vibes. All right, the next shoe, you guys don't have to, go all out like this just any one of these will work but you have the adidas stan smiths and if you guys didn't know i have these in the oh this is kind of blasting them out right here in this lighting but these are the raf simmons collab um these are necessary you got all white plus okay you honestly you can wear these with anything and when i say anything i literally mean anything you can wear these with a the tuck you can wear these with pajamas you can wear these with anything the uh, nice leather on these even if you get the regular version super nice leather still not the most comfortable. All right, I'm gonna go on a side note right here. Okay, so I was in English class, right? 
my teacher's walking by. He's like, oh, those look pretty comfy. I'm like, not really. He's like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, not really. Thank you, though. And he's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You you need, you really need to get in, like, the $100 price range to get a comfy pair of shoes. And I'm like, I didn't say anything to him. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. But in my mind, I was just thinking, you know, these cost 400 But anyways, a little bit of side note. Super nice leather, super summery vibes, all white. Well, not all white, but pretty much all white, so you gotta stick with the light colors for the summer. Moving on. Many will say most necessary shoe of the summer, and definitely, last, but definitely, definitely not least. Adidas Ultras, and my dog's coming up to say, oh, what are you doing over there, dog? Okay, but anyways, Adidas Ultra, oh my, this is getting blasted out too. I got these in the Kanye white colorway with the black outsole. Super, super comfortable. Second most comfortable pair of shoes I've ever worn. Number one are the Skechers Go Walk 2s. I need to cop myself a pair of those. But these are the most comfortable pair of shoes that I own and most stylish for like comfort because Go Walk 2s are not com like stylish at all. These things get beat up, but you know what? They still look fresh anyways. I love these shoes. Can I help you? Can I make this video? All right, thank you. Um, anyways, this is probably the most necessary shoe for the summer. You got super air. You're, you're walking on clouds with these. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. With plus prime knit, super breathable. Sock, uh, booty. Oh, okay. If you guys, if you guys don't like the whole booty thing, I would recommend either going for the Pure Boost or the Ultra Boost STs. I think Ultra Boost STs. I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone. That, that stomach, um. That shoe literally makes me sick to my stomach by looking at it. I'm not joking. Like, I, when I was looking at those, I was literally feeling sick to my stomach. So, I would not go with the Ultra Boost STs. But the Pure Boost, on another hand, they look nice, but they're definitely not as comfortable as these. Honestly, I would say they're not really that comfortable at all, but they're comfy, but just definitely way overhyped. Anyways, this is probably the, most would say, the most necessary shoe for summer. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment what you guys like to see in the channel. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Please check out my um, spring, summer clothes pickup video. Again, thank you for 50 subs. I will be doing a giveaway when I get to 100 subs. I'm just saying that right now. I will be doing a giveaway. So, anyways, thank you for squash watching. Please stay safe out there, all you kids. And peace.